pastor has been given throughout church history. Um, and that's what the creeds are all about, like the Nicene Creed. Uh, it, it's the basic storyline of Scripture. There's the creation, there's the fall, and there's the redemption, and then there's the eschaton, the, the final hope. And that basic storyline, I think, is, is absolutely non-negotiable. Uh, and with that, there's some attendant the theological pieces like, uh, you know, who is God? Well, he's the God revealed in Jesus Christ. He's the triune God. Uh, how are we redeemed? Uh, well, it's by God's grace and the incarnation and things like that. Uh, but uh, that's the non-negotiable. And there's always been, I mean, the, the church has always held to that center. And there's always been a ton of stuff that, you know, we've been okay, you know, having diversity about. Um, and that's fluctuated a little bit in times. You know, sometimes the church, you know, segments of the church have been more rigid or whatever. But uh, having to wrestle with diverse opinions and perspectives is hardly a new thing in the church. Uh, unfortunately, we've, we've lost some of that. The ability to be gracious with disagreements, um, uh, especially among conservative Protestants uh, throughout the 20th century. It's one of the saddest things that the church has lost. Hopefully we're getting it back, but uh, it hasn't served us well for the last hundred years, that's for sure. Well, then it carries over to society. Um, this is one of the reasons why you know, conservative Christians are so often uh, known as being intolerant and judgmental and, and not at all representing the sort of kind of graciousness and love and service of Jesus Christ. Uh, because we're that way towards each other, then we're that way towards the world, and it's just ugly. It's just ugly. It's not, it's not the beauty of Jesus Christ. And we need to get back to the kind of the beauty of Jesus Christ. <laughs>